So today, as you might uh, read the title, uh, I'm just gonna customize uh, MX Linux 21 in a such a way that uh, it's gonna look almost not identical, but it, it's. I'm gonna try my best to make it look similar as possible without trying ed editing anything that's super fundamental to the system. So without changing entirely the whole thing, uh, I'm gonna theme it so that it will look really similar to Windows 11. So let's begin. So we have to download three things first. Uh, so let me show you. First, a Windows 11 wallpaper. You can grab it anywhere, but I'm just gonna give you the wallpaper cave link. These all are gonna be in the description. Uh, and then Windows 11 theme and Windows 11 icon theme. This. So after you download all of these, uh, open up your file manager, click on your downloads section. Oh, and uh, I assumed that I downloaded this. Wow. Ah, there we go. Download it just like that. These should be here like that. Uh, so put your wallpaper in where you like it. I'm just gonna put it into the pictures. Wall. Okay. Wallpapers. Did I write it wrong? Whatever. Just put it there uh, and the other things what you need to do is extract both of them after extract both of them why are they in one single section okay this is kind of complicated they oh, whatever Cut these uh, and create that icons folder in your uh, home directory. So I'm just gonna do that. Show hidden files first, though, uh, because it's gonna be a hidden file, so you won't be able to see it after you created it. And paste the icon themes over here after you extract them. Uh, you can leave the dark theme alone now because we're not going to use it. You can delete it if you like. I'm going to keep it. Uh, and then stop. Themes. Create that folder with a dot again. And copy this. 11. Thing, theming inside it and paste it over here there we go after you've done those uh, open up your appearance tab and select those bam where's the Oh no, did I type icons wrong? Why are they not working? Let me see. It isn't supposed to be capitalized. I mean, there's an easier method if you like. You can just select uh, them manually by clicking Add. Click and show hidden files over here as well. And find where you put them.
and this would also work. There we go. Yeah, that was a little complicated. It wasn't complicated, I just made it harder. Whatever, and it's applied, if you can... I mean, either, either way will work, so... Yeah, there's some other things happened there. So whatever, then open up your settings manager again. And then open up window manager. And go all the way down to find Windows 11 again. And now we have the Windows 11 theming. As you can see, it looks really nice. Now we're just going to edit the panel real quick. Go on panel preference. Oh. Uh, you do have to open tweaks up before this. Open tweaks up first. Uh, and put the panel at the bottom. Just like that. And also I forgot to put the wallpaper as well. And I should put that too. Other pictures, wallpaper, and click on open. Select your wallpaper. I also wanted to make it zoomed so that it looks better. Uh, and uh, one more thing before I change the panel as well. Uh, you should also go into your uh, notification menu if you want extra look and feel just look better. Notif notifications there you go and instead of top right uh, put it the bottom right and if you show it like here it will just put it at the bottom and you can select a different theme like this this will look a little better uh, or bright if you like that I'm gonna keep it in bright since it's a light theme and it looks a lot better in that way and also select slide out option so it will slide out so after you've done those things uh, go to your uh, mouse and touchpad section go into your themes tab and select this mouse cursor it looks a lot better uh, for Windows 11 like designing then go into your panel settings and here what you need to do is first go into the display increase this this size would be enough. After that, uh, going to the item section and add a launcher, a separator, and a weather widget. It's called weather update. Add those. And what we need to remove is the power, not the power action buttons. Click and remove those. There we go. And also the workspace switcher. Just get rid of that. And then drag the separator over here. And then click on the separator and click on this little configuration part. And click on expand on this one. Oh, and I forgot to. Just so make it transparent so we're able to see it uh, and also open up the time and date up click on time only to time and date just like that and after that separator dog we have to get this launcher to be configured uh, so we have to go into this little edge icon and I'm gonna call it Bing so it will look quite interesting and then I'm gonna open Google with this it's just gonna make a little shortcut to Google uh, so that it will look kind of better in some certain ways you don't have to do this it just looks nice and kind of goofy to me that just makes it nicer I guess looks a little more polished then put this at the edge here and the launcher too There we go. It looks a little better. I don't know. It's it's your preference though. And then the separator. Just uh, put it until the dog on taskbar. There we go. And after all that said, uh, we also have to change the tray plugins. So a few more settings here. 
uh, the update notification just hide that I'm gonna also hide the OBC and then so hide these it looks a little more centered as well now and also hide this there we go uh, you can access them by clicking it it just looks a little better when you uh, then they are hidden and yeah you can also select hide items by default so just pop out instantly and uh, you can also get the default larger style so that you can easily see these so I'm gonna keep that in the larger style you can prefer you can change it but you prefer it and now let's get into the start menu so it looks really off right now what you need to do is click on the properties section click on icons taskbar search only there you go okay, that's what and categories the side there you go that's what I wanted and click on smaller to very small and make this small oh wait uh, just my mistake it's gonna be normal and to make this a little bit more translucent 95 would be enough actually let's crank it a little bit more so that it will look a little better 90 looks quite yeah that's looks enough good enough oh and Yeah, there we go. Let me see if there's something else that I have to edit. Tool tips. Oh, there we go. Category names. There we go. And also, you have to add some apps here by right clicking pin to dock and let's also pin the search app which uh, it kind of stands for the uh, menu search something like that in windows so it looks better after you pin some apps and i will be pinning some apps and i will be back right after that And I'm back. As you can see, I added a lot of apps. And after we pin a lot of them, as you can see, the start menu now looks centered. And after you open some other apps and all that stuff, it might look a little off again, but I mean, there's nothing that you can possibly fix it in this desktop, unfortunately. But well, it still looks nice, I guess. Uh, if you have all those pinned apps and if you're always using these pinned apps it wouldn't really matter that much oh and I also forgot to put some few things here just the help sections here you can just select them all and delete these so that you have a little more cleaned up desktop and also right click in your desktop settings by default uh, you have the garbage pin on uh, Windows 11 so I'm gonna add the garbage pin as you can see it looks like that and I'm gonna increase the icon size a little so it will look a little more accurate just like that and also in the tweaks app uh, if you didn't realize you have single click in uh, MX Linux so open up your tweaks app MX tweak and single click on desktop and tune or just select and get rid of those and click apply so now you have to click once and one more time to open up a program or the file here uh, so that's works a little better let's empty the garbage pin there we go and also you might not like this conky you want to get rid of this it's named conky so what we need to do is write conky and click on conky toggle and it will just get disappeared and yeah it's finished now uh, so let's go Firefox there we go it's finished and if you like it just looks like this it's really basic uh, 
we didn't have to install any type of program it's so everything's pre-installed in the MX Linux system only thing that we just uh, had to download is about like two megabytes or some uh, it's about five megabytes uh, and if you didn't even count the icons it's so much lower than that so yeah it's really didn't uh, need any space or anything it's really darn basic uh, to do this it's not hard it's it's simple just that's the easiest way to say it uh, yeah if you want to have this uh, Windows 11 like look or maybe your system doesn't support Windows 11 and you just still want to run Windows 11 or you like Win uh, MX Linux but you just want the Windows 11 like style here you go you can make it like uh, with this easy guide so I hope you enjoyed this guide and yeah I see you in the next video bye